The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has assured of the country's company's readiness to partner with and invest in Nigerian economy. Blinken, who is on an African tour, made the remark in Abuja during his visit to President Bola Tinubu at the presidential villa. American entrepreneurs, American companies, are eager to partner with and invest in Nigeria's economy, particularly uh, in the tech sector. We have tech giants that are teamed up with Nigerian partners to help meet President Tinubu's One Million Digital Jobs Initiative. Uh, other companies are hard at work laying undersea cables, uh, using satellite technology to expand access to the internet. Our tech incubators are fostering uh, Nigeria's next startups. Our venture capital companies are working to finance them. So we want to work in partnership to help drive Nigeria's technological revolution, which is creating jobs, it's growing businesses, and it's spurring innovations in both of our countries. Because one of the things we've learned from these partnerships is that uh, it benefits us as much as uh, any place or any company that we're uh, investing in. Uh, we're learning a lot from it. We're getting a lot from it. Uh, and one of the initiatives that President Biden laid out, the Digital Transformation with Africa initiative, we see as particularly, um, uh, and it's a particular area of focus for us. Despite the promises investing in Nigeria holds, the U.S. diplomat is aware of the challenges business environment in the or the challenging business environment in the country. Nigeria remains one of the lowest ranked in transparency. International's widely watched corruption perceptions index. United States uh, is determined to be and remain a strong security partner for Nigeria. I want to extend the condolences of the American people to all Nigerians who were affected by the horrific attacks over the Christmas weekend. We mourn their loss and all killed in recent attacks, including, by the way, staff from our United States mission, uh, locally employed staff and four police officers who were killed in Anambra uh, last May. As I told the President and the Foreign Minister, the United States will support Nigeria as it works to bring about a more secure, a more peaceful, and a more prosperous future for its people. Fundamental to this outcome, is an investment in the foundations of an inclusive democratic society, a focus on equal opportunity for all, regardless of ethnicity, religion, or any other group distinction. That helps build the social cohesion that also deters banditry, deters terrorism, deters violent extremism. I also shared how our own experience in combating terrorism uh, around the world over more than 20 years uh, has highlighted just how important civilian security, human rights and accountability are to achieving genuine and enduring security. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.